summers ago, I traded in my organic chemistry textbooks and lab goggles for a tech bro hoodie and a generous paycheck. After completing just an introductory computer science course, I managed to land an internship at a big four fang tech company. Amazon. Looking back, I'm still amazed that it's possible for someone with no experience in tech and very little CS coursework to land a top tech internship. And of course, it doesn't come easy. For me, it required numerous weekends of leak coding, hundreds of rejections, and several failed final round interviews. And of course, it also required a generous sprinkle of luck. I know there's a lot of hype surrounding getting into these top companies, but to be honest, the interview process is very similar between the big four and any other tech company. Most companies follow similar steps for recruiting, and most interviews test the same basic topics, data structures, algorithms, recursion, dynamic programming, etc. So let me share with you my journey of cracking the software engineering internship interview. In this video, I'll be going over the sparse technical experience I had before going into the recruiting process, how I leveraged my network and the internet to find jobs, what the interview process was like for me, and how I ultimately landed that Amazon internship. So without further ado, let's get to it. A big misconception is that to land a job at Google, Facebook, or Amazon, you have to have started coding in high school, completed a few internships, exhausted the CS curriculum at your top engineering school, and probably have started a million dollar app. Now let's look at what my profile looked like when I was applying for these jobs. I was a junior at a small liberal arts school, had just started my CS major, had only completed one CS course, and had never worked a tech job in my life. My proudest technical achievement was making a static website for my mom before college. For someone like me, getting into the big four would be a long shot. But that's really why I wanted to make this video. The first step to achieving any goal, regardless of how intimidating or difficult or daunting it may seem, is to just put yourself out there. I could have looked around at my classmates who had previously interned at Google, had done tech research at MIT, and were TAs in the classes that I was taking and told myself that I had no chance. But the tech recruiting process is actually incredibly forgiving. All you really need to do to get a job is to get your foot through the door and then nail a technical interview. Everything else is just kind of fluff. I tried to cast as wide a net possible when applying to jobs, so I applied everywhere. I used sites like Glassdoor, Indeed, and Google Jobs to find every company that was hiring for interns. Then I used sites like Crunchbase and AngelList to find those smaller startups with a niche where my non-traditional background in pre-med would be relevant. But this definitely wasn't the most efficient way to find jobs. What I could have done was leverage my school's incredibly strong alumni network and my seniors to ask for referrals in their respective companies. And here's why referrals are so ideal. Typically, a recruiter is gonna have to weed through thousands of online applications and would probably spend at most a few seconds looking at my resume. But with referrals, a recruiter is leveraging a trusted employee's network to find the best candidate. So my chance of getting that first interview would be so much higher. But of course, I was too shy and too proud to go out of my way and ask for help. But maybe if I did, this process would have been a lot simpler and this video would be a lot shorter. Regardless, after submitting those applications in October, which was a bit late in the process, I finally heard back from the first company, Google. And with that, I dove into the completely foreign world of technical interviews. First things first, I ordered Cracking the Coding interview on a whiteboard and asked my classmates what in the world a technical interview is. Since I had just started taking data structures, I had some catching up to do. So I read every single page, front to back, of Cracking the Coding interview and completed a bunch of hacker rank courses. After that was done, I started conducting mock interviews by myself. With a whiteboard in hand or using CoderPad, I pick a random leak code question and code my solution out loud. My homemates probably thought I was a freak talking to myself. And sometimes I do mock interviews with a friend. This helped me practice performing under pressure and analyzing a good versus bad answer. About two weeks after starting interview prep, I had my Google interviews and they were back to back. And since these were my first ever technical interviews, I was incredibly nervous to say the least. And the idea of having to write code on the fly without looking anything up was still bonkers to me. The first one went pretty well and the other one was 
just okay. <laughs> About a week after that, I heard back from Facebook, which was my dream company at the time. So again, I spent the next two weeks cramming for the interview, but to my dismay, it was actually quite difficult. In fact, I don't think I even completely understood the question, but I just kept coding my half-baked solution. So it wasn't a surprise that a week after that, I received my rejection in the email and my Facebook dreams were in the dumps. After this initial period of hype, I kept applying to as many companies as I could and naturally I only heard back from a few. And I definitely was improving, but the thing is I would need something else, luck. I could spend an entire weekend studying up on trees and DFS, but then get a question on dynamic programming and be at a complete loss. But without giving up, I kept marching along and I'm really glad that I did. By February, I had completed several more interviews, but was usually rejected the final round, either because I needed to practice more on my fundamentals or because I wasn't the best fit for the company. At this point, I started to lose hope. I asked myself, if I can't even get one job offer, how will I be a good engineer? And just around that time, I heard back from Amazon. Nearly four months after submitting my application, I received a friendly email asking me to complete a two-part coding challenge, half about syntax rules and half a hacker rank style challenge. I had nothing to lose at this point, so I gave it a shot. A speedy week after that, I received an email from the team to find a time for the next and last hurdle, the technical phone screen. By this point, I thought that if I had failed every other interview, I'd probably fail this one too. So instead of going through the usual routine of leak coding and whiteboarding over the weekend, I decided to just wait it. In fact, the day of, I wanted to cancel the interview because I didn't want to waste another hour of my time and the interviewer's time. But luckily, with some coercion of my friends, I still attended the interview and I'm very glad that I did. I was asked one question, to some, and of course I was incredibly lucky to have gotten this question, which also happens to be the first question listed on leak code. By this point in my preparation, I had thoroughly understood what the question was asking, all the various possible approaches to solve it, the edge cases, and was able to articulate my answer pretty well. So by that Friday, I received my offer letter and was Seattle bound. And the point of this story is that nothing comes easy and there's no secret sauce to cracking the coding interview wherever you're applying. So my lesson learned was to get as much practice in as possible from a variety of resources and start preparing well in advance of applying. Even by doing one leak code question a day in the months leading up to the recruiting season can help instill that confidence in your technical skills to help you knock that interview out of the park. And that's it for this week's video. Please feel free to share your own experiences applying for tech jobs or maybe your own struggles that you're facing right now in the comments down below. And you know the drill by now. If you like this video, please give it a big like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.